They're closing down the textile mill across the railroad tracks. Foreman says these jobs are going boys and they ain't coming back. That is what Reb Bruce said in my hometown. Of course, he's talking about outsourcing, right? When you take jobs and you outsource them to somewhere else so where um, it can be done, somebody with maybe more expertise or cheaper or better, whatever the case may be. And we know the benefits of that. We get stuff, even this computer I'm recording this on, right? Like it's made in China. And we know the drawbacks, which is um, a certain um, loss of feel of, of benefit when we do things for ourselves. But we outsource a lot of things. We outsource education of our children to experts. Um, somebody knows how to teach them math better than we do, or even Torah. We outsource you know, religious learning to the synagogue, things like this. But there's one thing we can't outsource. There's a certain feel of identity that we can't outsource to the school or to the synagogue or to another country. Passover, especially t Passover in this time of plague, is a important time to remember that. This is where we insource that feeling, the core message of Passover, that we're supposed to believe in something greater than ourselves and that we're part of something greater than ourselves. And, and that, that God and the people that we are a part of are meant to care for those whose society overlooks, the enslaved and those who are looked down upon and not given the same, the same benefits and opportunities as others, that these these other people we're, we're supposed to concern ourselves with because that's who God would be concerned with. That's something we teach at home. And that's something we teach around the Seder table. And that's something that is communicated with matzah and with the bitterness of maror and with four cups of wine or grape juice and staying up late and having a long and usual discussion. That cannot be outsourced. That has to be insourced to our own home. So this year is especially during this time. Let's remember that even though our society is used to outsourcing things, some things can only take place within our hearts and taught by ourselves. We should have a Shabbat Shalom and Chag Kasher V'Sameach. Have a good Passover.